Hi, everybody. This is my friend Bob. Hello. Um, I'm in Liverpool. Vito, just look. look we, this is all a mess, and we're just gonna we're gonna accept acknowledge it. Knowledge <laughs> Um, we were just having a chat about because uh, Bob's a YouTuber as well. I'll link her down. Pro, hey. pro. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's a YouTuber too, and um, you know we're we were just talking about how fucking awful this website. Is. <laughs> the structure of it and how garbage it is. It's just. It's difficult to know what, what we're people about, want. <laughs> it's, 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 there's a difficult correlation between like what you think is good that you've made, what other people think is good that you made, and what gets views anyway. <laughs> like, yeah. like we were talking about how like haul videos for some reason, like your what's in my bag video, yeah, um, and my um, Ryman's haul video get loads more views than things we put way more effort you're into. Like, you know, you're just like, oh fuck, I need to do a video. Uh, here, it's a pen! Ah, I bought it! Ah. And then everyone's like, fuck yeah, she bought a pen! Yes. It's so good! But then again, I love stationery hauls. Like, yeah! I'm weak for them. <laughs> accept, I, I accept that. Like, that makes sense. But then, like, why... Then, I don't understand where the difference... Like, where's the difference where between that video getting clicked on by someone and then a video that looks interesting getting clicked on by... Like, why would someone... I don't know! I Unless would, it's just, like, search function. So someone might search just, like, I fancy watching a station hall. Someone's not yeah. going to think, I want to watch a poem with this specific name. That, you know. <laughs> I know, yeah. But then what do you do about that? Do you just give up? Because... Like, bait the shit out. <laughs> no, because at the end of the day, like, right, my list of, like, YouTube videos I want to make is endless, right? Yeah, There's so many videos I want to make. And I'm like... How do I pick what's next? I don't know. Like, I want to make them all. Yeah. But then I get really disappointed when I've spent, like, a whole day filming, like, everything. And then I'm just like, oh, okay. Oh, yes, no one liked that one. When I think objectively, it is a good video. It's yeah. just... I think another issue I have is, like, obviously because I've got really shit editing software. Um, like, when I come to edit things, I can never get that image in my head because of how bad yes. my editing software is. That's another limitation. And, like, there's a huge monetary li limitation with YouTube and any platform like it, but that's sort of unavoidable. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I get the same because I don't have a camera, so I film mostly on my phone. I think I'm going to get a camera soon. <laughs> it's, it's a really big step. I used to have a camera, but I just wasn't using it enough, and I was like, okay, don't, don't, don't just keep it around gathering yeah. dust. I think I'm gonna get the G7X, the one yeah. with the flip screen, so I can vlog and oh, film from Oh, I that. really want a flip screen for ours. Yeah, like that would be good. Like we've got a little camera that has a flip screen, but it's it's the audio quality is bad, and I don't have a microphone. Although I might be able to steal Pep's, so they've just got one. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's just equipment's one like whole battle. But then, even if I had all the equipment, that what makes what makes me not want to invest in YouTube is is that I think well, even if I had all that equipment, there's no strong thing that people would. Is, is it gonna is it yeah. gonna make my videos any better? It's maybe gonna make them a bit better for me, and I'm gonna watch it and be more proud of it. But then I'm like, but if no yeah, one else sees if, it, like, if no one else sees it, like I don't know, you put you're making yeah. the content to for it to go out there and for people to go, that's nice. I mean, YouTube is all about validation. Yeah. Surely we all agree well, that like, we're not here for like some selfless reason. <laughs> people like being told, oh, you're clever and interesting, yeah, and good looking, and you know whatever, <laughs> good looking. <laughs> <laughs> but um it's like i don't know yeah yeah i have a friend who literally spent like months on this project it was a documentary about the small youtube community but because it was about the small youtube community it was pretty much ignored um and Such this was years ago this was like 2012 13 and like i think in the end it got about 300 views and she'd put months into it that's the thing. I don't, how how do you fix that? That that's not. I mean, obviously there. That's a problem with with YouTube as a platform in terms of the um, like I don't know. Well, the, the algorithm. You know, like don't talk the, about the, the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna get flagged. I'm gonna get marked down. Um, but it's you know. But essentially, it is that. It is like the fact that these videos are the ones that should be getting promoted and they're yeah. not. I'm not saying my videos are the ones that should be getting promoted. But Mine are the spent, minute certainly should be. <laughs> someone who spent months making a documentary that I bet you is bloody interesting. Mm. I didn't know about it. I, would, <laughs> I wish I'd known. And it's like, these things just get lost in the ether of there is so much trying 1,000 candies at the same time with my girlfriend while we're well, wearing a thousand layers. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's always just some <laughs> fucking thing that'll do better because, like... And don't get me wrong, I enjoy videos like that. Like, I... But they serve different purposes. Like, 
there are some videos I will watch that um, will make me like feel things and think about things, and then sometimes I'm like, I need to not use my brain. Yeah, I think there's <laughs> there's space for both, but what I'm what I think is that there's mostly one taking precedence, really. And the thing is, right? So yesterday I was I was speaking to a friend of mine, and I was saying I really want to do like a video essay thing, um, like almost like a documentary about like the spectrum of the viewer creator divide because yeah. like there's there's the, there's like on one end of the spectrum you've got events like hello world yeah. where there's very much creator audience, audience big money gap big like there's a massive gap there yeah. right and then that and that to me is the more like sort of not clickbaity side of youtube but you know what i mean yeah. like it's that kind of like Content that still takes a lot of work and to do. And also, you still right. have the thing as well of once someone has amassed an audience, they will always get more views. Just by the yeah, sheer it's mass the, of their yeah, audience. Yeah, for sure. And if you've got that many people watching, then it's going to turn up on pages where people are going to see it any more, anyway, and it's going to grow. Which is why people who are like at the top of YouTube tend to not slip too far down, unless they do something awful. Like, But then they deserve it. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so like... What I wanted to do is explore, like, essentially go down the sliding scale and be mm. like, or, or or up, I guess, I don't know, but, like, go from that end of the thing to kind of, like, halfway through where you've got, like, things like Sitsi and, yeah. like, events that still have a, a, a clear divide and, like, YouTubers that there is still the, like, this is the mm. YouTuber and these are the people who watch, but it isn't so commercialised, yeah. it isn't so... You know, you're like, paying to see this person. Exactly, yeah. it's it's a little bit more like friendly. Yeah. And then you've got like at the very bottom the small YouTube community where like yeah. people in the UK who are pals who make YouTube videos and like people like yeah then that it, it isn't yeah. you know I haven't paid to come see you even though I really <laughs> like your videos like that's the thing so like I thought it'd be really interesting to kind of like try and do like a three piece thing where you go like there's also this, like this, this. What? Um, VidCon sort of creator path and how that varies from sort of summer in the city where it is yeah like you can get industry passes and things but that's still a very different thing whereas like creator passes at VidCon get you was it not a thing that VidCon used to do tiered system of like how many subs you yeah. have yeah it's just awkward it's like you don't know how to treat I think it as well because it's still evolving so like when we first started using this website we were only just reaching a point where people would have some kind of status based on yeah. the numbers mm -hmm. up until that point it was just a group of friends so as we are moving past that and people are celebrities now and they are everywhere and it is dangerous to some extent for them no of like course. you need your divides still but yeah. With those divides in place, which are necessary, this was all covered in that 1080 article. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Lou's incredible 1080 article. I'm going to put the link below because I swear to God, we're all in love with it. It's, it's, we're all actually marrying it right yeah, now. Literally, literally about to divorce my husband and marry that article. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> Sorry, you have to find out this. Time. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, I know a YouTube video is not really how it was good, it should have happened, but um, yeah, it's unfortunate. But yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, you have to have those divides that are necessary evil, but that does then create this tiered system even more strongly. Yeah. Like, and it just like cascades down, and even at the lower levels, like the other end of the spectrum where it is more friendly, it still starts to create that divide. Yeah, and, you, and, it's, and it's sort it's, of that argument of at which point in sort of subscriber count or whatever you're trying to measure, yeah. viewer count, whatever. Um, like does this person then jump up a level and are you then still able to have the same kind of communication you would have had before and then that also comes into like all the debates about like how much of your personal life should go on youtube or not because yeah. you know at one end of the, you, you don't even think about like what you share with your friends and if you you think you're being watched by your friends then that's fine but then suddenly when you're not anymore yeah then maybe you've shared too much and like yeah it's yeah, like if once it's out there it's out of your hands and also it's more the thing of you don't know what your audience is going to grow into so like right now my audience are like 30 to 40 year olds mainly i don't care if they see me having a breakdown i'm sure they've had breakdowns too um but if I, at some point i were to then amass a young audience i would potentially be concerned about them watching some of the videos on my channel not because there's like anything wrong with them but i just like, some of my mental health videos are me not in a good place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, you create content for the audience you have, but then that content is out there. And it's and just... And those audiences little, yeah. shift, whether it's them growing yeah. up or you getting a different audience and people moving on. Once you leave that point of it just being sort of your friends, then you've got... Like, I've got 400 subs, which isn't many at all, but 
that means that a decent proportion of them I don't know and they don't know me. Yeah. Um, and see, I'm, I'm before that. I, I think most of my subs are people I know. Yeah. Most, like a, a, a big majority. And so I, I feel quite safe making YouTube videos about anything because I'm like, well, I wouldn't make a YouTube video about something that I wouldn't talk to a friend about. Yeah. But um, yeah, like it's interesting to see how like most of my friends who are YouTubers have more subscribers than me. And it's like interesting to see how they've dealt with it at the different yeah. levels. And like, like I've got some friends who are just sort of breaking a thousand and it's very strange how... It's also interesting how people suddenly reach a point where they're like, okay, I need to take this seriously now. And it's like, okay, but like, why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking about, whatever, no one gets. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they've got other things going on in their life and they're like, and I'm trying to balance this because now I need to take it seriously. And I'm like, you don't have to immediately just because you have that audience. Yeah. You can, the audience turned up when you weren't taking it. Well, you were still taking it seriously, you know. But not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like a normal amount. Yeah. Seriously. Mm. Oh, I swear we can talk about YouTube for like years. Yeah, we should probably stop this before you like sob while editing. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think this one's sounding like it's feeling it's feeling unedited. I don't know. This video <laughs> thing's got me really really like, raw. I've got loose hands when it comes to editing. <laughs> I like tend to just cut like a little bit of the beginning and end and be like, yeah, good, done, <laughs> sorted. I've got I'm probably so... gonna edit it on my phone and upload it on my on, as I drive home. I got so tonight. fast at like cutting me pausing out. Oh my god, yeah. I'm just like <laughs> I can see the peaks where I go so at the beginning of every sentence and like trail off and then I could like, see the exact point where I just kind of go um. <laughs> just like, no, I literally no. now. <laughs> can edit a video in less time than the footage is long. <laughs> I edited a 15 minute video in 10 minutes the other yeah. day. Because I'm like, I don't, I know what I said there. Just, that's fine. I'll go to the next bit. And also the way you talk changes. Like, I know when I'm making a lot of videos, so like when I did Veg, it yeah. was like, my speech probably got a lot better because I wasn't pausing and umming and ahhing all the yeah, time. Yeah, definitely. And I think it was just me subconsciously being like, you don't want to edit that, Robin. <laughs> I don't know, like, want to. <laughs> I literally am now at a point where editing, uh, because of Vito, mostly because I have to get stuff out every yeah. day or two days, like, um, because of that, it means that I want to edit for as least as possible. So if I fudge up a take, I'll be like, I'm starting the video again. Doesn't matter. I know I'm five minutes in. I don't care. I'm doing it again. Like, I've literally done that because I'm like, no, I'd rather that than, like, try and chop it together for oh, no. a... When I'm making, like, like poetry thing. videos where I'm just sort of sat there talking... I usually have about 30 takes and there was one that I filmed and literally Pep shouted up the stairs as I was nearly done and I was oh like, no. no! That's the same thing with covers. Like when you're doing a cover and you're like, take 47. Oh my God, I better not fuck up the last line of the chorus. I reached a point with one of them where I wrote the last two lines that I kept fucking up and stuck them on the wall. <laughs> and was like, right, you're not forgetting it. I like it, I like it. I haven't done any poetry yet. Maybe I, I should do I love poetry. I do love, I really like it. And I can't. I'm going to link to one of Robin's poems that I really like. Which one? The queer one. Uh, the Amazing. Queer one. <laughs> yes. Yes. So good. Um, oh God. Yeah. Okay. We should stop. We should stop. We were just having a little chat while we were having a, a cup of and tea. And then Marta was like, we should film Vito, this. Vito, Vito, Robin. <laughs> you know the pain. You've I, done a, yeah. you've done veg, so. I attempted veg pay. That was <laughs> Look, if you try and do a video every day for a year, you will die. You just need to not do that. The, the last sort of month of it is just me being dead. <laughs> I don't know how people actually daily vlog. I, like, I couldn't imagine. I mean, I suppose if it's your job. But I yeah, can only imagine if it were my, to my, get the to, only thing I was doing. There's people who daily vlog to get to the point where it can be their job, and that's insane. Like, imagine working and coming up with a video. No! Like, thank you! Video thing murder! <laughs> like... No way. My videos got so shit when I was working at KMC and it was just like, I've just finished a shift. It's 3am. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of how it gets. Like, I've tried to steer away as much as I can from it, but like, you know, some of my videos have been like, blah, 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 blah. I'm in bed now. I'm bye bye. <laughs> I particularly like uh, the cat video. That yeah, was, that was a favorite. That, do you know what? That might become a bit of a feature. I like it. It's very easy to work out a cat video. People like it. It has found success. Um, yeah. I'm glad you're using your cat for the right reason. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you just out. got her for the internet. To the page. lowest bidder. I don't care. <laughs> Okay, right. We're yes. gonna continue talking, but we're gonna stop we're recording. Gonna stop this before Marta has a breakdown later. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh my god. Bye. Oh, that probably was all the way down my top. <laughs>